applications of supervised learning. Assume you are working in a bank, say my bank, and you are directly working with the chief marketing officer and the chief marketing officer has assigned you a task. Say the chief marketing officer wants you to grow the personal loan portfolio by cross-selling loans to existing customers. In past, the bank has executed many promotional campaigns where offers were sent to customers. Some of the customers to whom you send the offers, they would have responded and taken a loan or they would have responded exhibiting their interest in taking the loan. All this data of past campaigns and the behavior and the demographic data of those customers is available with you. If you have to build a model, in this case, the modeling technique, the modeling algorithm that you are going to use will fall under the head supervised learning. The reason is when you have this data, you have the information of customers who have accepted your offer and those who did not accept the offer. And now you are trying to analyze based upon these customers demographic and their behavioral data, you are trying to establish a function between those independent attributes with respect to the labeled class who responded to the offer and who did not respond to the offer.